Hey y'all, so happy new year. I know that it is like we're, today is January the 23rd and I know we're kinda, you know, days, weeks into the new year, but it's still a new year nonetheless. And guess what? I know people always got something to say about, oh, you can't change overnight, blah, blah, blah. I get it, I understand, but guess what? New year, new us, okay? Me and you, me, I mean, me. <laughs> me and you so that's why i wanted to do this kind of video because i wanted to show you guys pretty much how i'm preparing to have a successful and life-changing year now let me do state well let me state what is that let me do state let me state that it's not like i just woke up january 1st and was like oh i'm just gonna be a brand new person no that's not how it went i've been putting in the mental work pretty much for all of last year i've been putting in the mental work so now it's like i'm still putting in the mental work um and i feel like whenever you're wanting to change your life as far as like the path you're currently on if you want to change it it is going to start with your mental i know we hear that it's so cliche but it's real okay you cannot change anything in your life unless you change your mental first so it was important for me to do that work because i had to realize exactly what do i want what do i really really want and I'm still on that journey. I'm still on that journey. I'm still learning about myself. I'm still learning what I really want. And I feel like as life goes on, you're always going to be learning about yourself and always going to be learning what you really want. Because as we get older, things change. As time passes, things change. Something that we might have liked last year, we might not like today. So that's where I'm at with that. So I'm not someone that discusses their goals with other people certain goals like i'll tell y'all like y'all i'm really trying to lose weight you know what i'm saying because that's i don't mind sharing that but as far as like personal goals and things like that i really don't like sharing it and i know you probably have heard people say that and if you don't understand why it's because you never know the response that you might get from somebody and if you tell somebody your goal and they bounce their insecurities off on you and not saying that everything is an insecurity that somebody might say if it's not like in alignment with what you're telling them not saying that it's an insecurity they might not be trying to be negative they might not intentionally try to be negative but you don't know where their mindset is at so they can say something that can alter your goal and how you truly feel so that's why i keep things to myself a lot of the time because i don't want anyone to bounce their mindset and their beliefs off on me i believe what i believe i want what i want that's just the end of that so the only like the person that i do the most discussion with is god so whoever you believe in whoever I encourage you that when it comes to your goals, do it with your creator. So on the floor, you guys, it looks messy because I have an an array of different canvases that I'm going to be putting on the wall. So this is going to be my motivational wall. So let me sit back down so I can tell y'all why I'm doing it this way instead of a vision board. The reason I'm not doing a vision board is because for one anybody can come into this room and i don't want to necessarily have my vision board on the wall for everyone to see that goes back to me saying that i don't want people to know my goals so that's why i'm doing it this way um also because honestly i do have a journal of where i write down my goals but it's not something that i look at every day and i kind of need it in my face so I decided to go this route because this is going to be the office room where I do my work. So I wanted a room where when I walk into it, I can see exactly um, different things that will speak to me. I am very much a person that likes quotes and motivational, you know, motivational quotes and things like that. So the sayings that I have on the floor is all different type of things. They're, all of them are not motivational. Like this one right here says, sorry, my phone died. And that's just because I saw that and I was like, 
my phone always dying. So it's just a mixture of funny with a mixture of motivational things. I do go into specifics written down as far as like goals that I want to achieve but that's just something that I'm going to write down and be able to look back on this is something that's kind of like that's just in my face you know what I'm saying so we're going to go over the different ones that I have and we're going to put them on the wall and we're going to create a different uh, a motivational wall and I'm going to also show y'all um what else I have been doing to prepare to have a successful year so yeah I feel like that intro was uh, long-winded, but y'all, anytime that I don't record for a while and I come back and record, I just be like, girl, what is your channel name? What do you want to say? How do you do an intro? Like, that is everything that I be doing. So, so I'm recording on my phone so y'all can see. So, I have a array of different canvases and i'm going to put them on this wall right now i have love another love one another and sorry my phone died the reason why i have love one another in the center of it is because um i have a friend that i talk to and she you know is very spiritual so a lot of things that she say sticks with me and one thing that she said she told me to do everything out of love so I already had this canvas up um, on the wall, but it just confirmed like, yes, that needs to be in the center, like love one another, do everything out of love. So I'm gonna just go over quickly the different ones that I have. I was not made to be subtle. This is a message board where I could put any message that I want and I pretty much got that one so that like whatever is speaking to me, I could put it there. This is a camera that says, oh snap. and you know, of course, you guys, I'm doing YouTube and I film on a camera. So that just, you know, it, it went with it. It went with it, y'all. The sooner you start believing in yourself, the sooner you'll start seeing results. This is a uh, woman. It looks like a black woman to me working at a computer. And it says, you go, girl. Good things are going to happen. Be you. Because that's what I always want to be in all of my videos is myself. I'm an adult, but not like a real adult because you're home childish. <laughs> Never stop dreaming. Boss, babe. I have to be successful because I like expensive things. She believed she could, so she did. I want it all delivered because I love online shopping. She designed a life she loved. That one over there says, I, hold on, wait. It's not trying to focus on I don't like warning people or mornings or people. Kind of a negative canvas, but I just thought that it was funny. This one says blessed. It's kind of dirty because it was in um, storage. And these two say, dear fear, I have missed so much because of you. And I will never again take for granted the people and the places I love the most. And that one stuck out to me because, um, sorry, I did stuff on my plant is on the ground. Um, because I've lost some people last year that I love. So, yeah. So you guys, I'm just going to pretty much set up the camera and let you guys watch me put it on the wall. I am going to be using, I'm going to be using command strips to hang them on the wall so it won't leave any marks on the wall. And I feel like they do a really good job. So I'm just going to set the camera up and let you guys watch. And honestly, y'all, I don't even know how I'm going to like arrange it. I really want it to be just like a gallery wall, like just canvases in different spots so as i go i'll figure it out i don't have any type of structure to this i'll just figure it out as i go so i'll just let y'all watch I'm on 
tell you i am in love with it oh my gosh that blessed one is dirty at the top and it's like it's like it looked like like glue or something but anyway so i love it you guys i really 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 do i really love it this area right here looks a little empty i feel like something needs to go there I don't know. Probably, you know what I probably do, y'all? I probably get a bench that can go right there. That's what I probably do. Get a bench. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. So, like, kind of like this type of vibe, velvety, but put a bench right there. So, yeah. I love it. Okay. So, let me tell y'all what else I've been doing to prepare for this year. So, first... Let me tell y'all that before I cut on the camera to watch, to do this video, I was listening to this uh, podcast on YouTube and the guy, he was talking about um, when it comes down to sticking with the goals that you set, first of all, set realistic goals, which I know we probably hear all the time, but it is so important. And he even made me look at it differently than what I have been looking at it. So he pretty much stated like, let's, for example, my goal is to lose weight. So instead of focusing on how much weight I want to lose, focus on what I need to do on a daily basis to get to where I'm trying to go. So that means daily my main focus on a daily basis is to make sure i eat healthy for that day exercise and get through that exercise for that day i'll wear about tomorrow when tomorrow comes so with that being said i have so many planners you guys so many planners that it's ridiculous and i always end up start writing in a planner and then i never finish using it and i never realized why until Randomly, one day I took an empty journal and I just started time blocking my time. And when I say that, I meant like I set the time schedule out for the entire day. And like um, when I say time, I mean like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. And then I said, I want to start doing this task at this time and finish by this time. And it ingrained it in my mind so that because, for example, I go to the gym and the gym is a place where you we know you go to the gym to work out right but i like to go to the gym and sometimes i like to sit on the couch in the gym because i listen to different things on my phone positive things on my phone and i start getting ideas i don't know why i don't know what it is about the gym but when i'm at the gym i start getting like ideas so i made it my goal to walk into the gym by a certain time go into the sauna for a certain amount of time sit on the couch for a certain amount of time because i noticed that time would get away from me and next thing i know i gotta go you know what i'm saying so i bought this planner this planner is hold on let me show y'all okay so this planner i still have the little thing that come up here so it's by day designer i got this from target this is called a daily monthly planner i never knew that there were different type of planners y'all i knew that they had different setups and things like that but i never knew like i just never knew it was specific type of planners so this one is so special to me first of all let me tell y'all if you would like to buy this planner i do not recommend buying it from their website because when i was i first saw this planner 
on um on an ad on Instagram. And when I looked at their website, the planner was $45. So when I had just so happened to type this type of planner online just to see if it will come up anywhere else, it said Target had it. I went to Target, y'all. I only paid, I want to say $25. I know it was in a 20 something range. So anyway. So as you can see, this entire page is dedicated to Monday, January the 24th, which is tomorrow. It has different time slots where you can in 30 minute increments where you can literally schedule out your entire day you guys all the way up until 8 p.m it has a section where you need to write what you need to do tonight what you're grateful for your to-do list today's top three it has a um a quote on every single page so tomorrow says the butterfly counts the butterfly counts not months but moments it has time enough and then notes and when it come down to the weekend the weekend has like take a time out fun things to do weekly gratitude saturday sunday next week don't forget so that is why i like this planner and also in the front, it also has stickers where you can write to do, meet and party, vacation, me time. And then it also has in the front, start with the big picture. Tells you what to write there. Setting your goals, personal goals, family, friends. And as you can see, I did not write there yet design your days what you want your morning routine and your evening routine to be stay on course is that it yeah and that's it and then it just and, and also each month it does have a calendar so that this is my type of planner because it holds me accountable to use it every day because i need to plan out my time daily instead of just writing on a calendar like this is what I need to do on this day. Like this makes me schedule my time every single day. So I also have a journal. Now I'm not going to open my journal y'all because this is personal. So I have a journal and in my journal, I pretty much write random things. You guys, like I have journal entries to God in here. I also have a list of goals that I want to achieve in 2022. I just have different things. So that was what I was mentioning earlier was that like, even though I write my goals in here, it's not something that I am going to look at daily. So that's why I wanted to do a motivational wall because I go into my office room every single day. I work in there. I work from home, if you did not know. And I also, you know, do YouTube. So I edit in there. I film content in there. So that's like, I, I have meetings in there. So that's like my little escape because as you know, you know, I have children. So I can't really like work out like, hold on. I'm sorry, y'all, because I'm just talking. Hold on, hold on. I didn't want y'all to be looking at the journal when I'm talking to you, but that's why it was so important for me to put things in the office room for me to look at daily because that's where I spent a lot of my time. I work in there, my nine to five, and then I film content in there. I edit in there and it just gives me an escape from the household, especially with me having kids and things like that. Um, another thing that I would recommend for you to have or prepare for a successful year is to start having a routine. I recently started a morning routine where I wake up at 5 a.m. or within the five o'clock hour. That's what I set my goal for the longest y'all. It was my goal to wake up at five. I just could not do it. It was more of a mental thing, but I just was having the hardest time. So I set my goal to wake up within the five o'clock hour. So one day y'all, the clock literally hit 559 and I popped out the bed because I was like, I gotta wake up within the five o'clock hour. But when I get up, I immediately like brush my teeth and I don't wash my face right when I get up. I should though, because the cold water probably a uh, help. But I brush my teeth, I go downstairs, I drink some water, and I start meditating. Um, I just started meditating, so I'm not like a pro at it, but I downloaded this app called Breathe, which I'll show you guys what it looks like. The app is called Breathe, that's how it looks, 
and it just has different things y'all like take a break unwind after work elevate your evening fall asleep start your day enrich your ride focus at work just so many different things so what i was i was doing a series they have a series of meditation for living abundance i mean sorry <laughs> no they have a series for setting your intention and i'm on day four of it so i pretty much wake up in the morning and i pretty much set my intention for that day for the month for my life like i just wake up and i meditate on it and it helps so much also if you are a mom which i am going to do a morning routine for mothers because i feel like it's so important to have a morning routine before your kids wake up because like for example my seven year old y'all he wakes up at like six o'clock six o'clock six thirty around that area and it's like if i'm not up before him that immediately starts my day off wrong because i have to be waking up by he has a lot of energy he want to come in good morning you're up like please that's just how he is so i had to learn to wake up before him so i can get my mind right before the kids wake up before my day start before all of that but what i would recommend is to set a routine that's good for you like set a routine that's good for you if if it's not um realistic for you to wake up at five because let me tell y'all as you know i have twins and before they were sleeping through the night you guys it was so hard even now i'm still trying to find my grounding after having babies because even though they're they're 11 months now can you believe that 11 months and it's almost a year since I have given birth and I still don't feel like I'm fully myself. And that's because I tried to have a routine. I tried to um, have a morning routine. I tried to get back into working out and fitness. And it just seemed like having babies was so tough because for one, they weren't sleeping throughout the night. And as you know, if you're really trying to lose weight, it's important to get your rest. I was not getting my full night of rest because I had to wake up in the middle of the night and tend to them. And then they weren't always on the same schedule. So one will wake up and the other one will wake up probably like an hour or two later. So it just was a lot. So I would just say like, don't look at what other people are doing and just set a realistic goal for your life and also be honest with yourself because i can't blame me not being in the best shape that i need to be in off of kids i can't it's not just the kids it's me it's my discipline and that's one thing that i am focusing on this year is my discipline and that comes with so many things but one thing i really want to be disciplined about is going to the gym working out okay and eating healthy that's what i want to be disciplined with and my promise to you guys is to be more disciplined with uploading videos because i my schedule that i supposed to have is uploading every wednesday and sunday that's my upload days but i never i'm not gonna say never it's very rare that i upload on my exact days or i'm consistent with it because life was just hitting me left and right as far as like having babies but even prior to the babies it was still i was still wasn't consistent so i can't blame it all on them so that's why i just had to do more of the mental work and figure out yvette what is the problem like why can't you stay consistent with anything that you do and that's because i lack discipline and one of my friends told me that if you don't have control over what goes in your mouth if you don't have discipline about what you put in your mouth, you won't have discipline over anything. So, you know, that's just something that's important to me. So it's like, that's what, where I want to get to. I want to be disciplined with uploading videos because this is something that I like to do. It's not for the money. It's not for, I mean, of course, don't get me wrong. Eventually you do want to make money from it because you're putting money into it. But, you know, you also have to like what you're doing. So... And you don't want to you don't want to make it feel like that it's for work you know what i'm saying like it's just work um so yeah so i'm just looking at things differently you guys because the meditation that i did today 
it was just the the lady that was do, it was guided meditation i forgot to mention i do guided meditation because i I'm, I'm a beginner so she was speaking about how she used to always be upset about the fact that she had to go she was having infertility problems and she said instead of focusing on the fact of that she can't have a baby she started she needed to learn how to appreciate the fact of that she has disposable income where she doesn't have to put it into kids and she's able to have more free time where she can do what she wants. so it's like if you can't obtain something at the moment look at and appreciate where you're at at that moment so for me even when it comes to youtube know my audience isn't where i want it to be at the time but i'm appreciating that because it more it's more intimate y'all like it's more intimate i can comment back it won't feel overwhelming because it's not like a lot of people comment and so it's like i'm just grateful for this moment i'm grateful for um learning this is like a learning experience for me because i'm learning more about editing i'm learning how you know exactly what route i want to take so it's just i don't even know how i got onto this subject okay but anyway my my main thing is i've been doing the work i've been doing so i recommend that you do the work and just don't set goals because you just like feel like you just want to set a goal and that's just what you want to achieve because that's what you want to achieve you have to realize that it starts in your mind it all everything everything no matter what it is it starts in your mind so with that being said you guys i hope this video resonated with you somehow some way okay i know I, I felt like i was all over the place but i just wanted to show you guys what i'm doing to have a successful year um i am doing a little bit more but as i said in the beginning i can't show everything y'all i just can't like some things it just has to be personal but for the most part this is the basis of it of what i'm doing um and my intention and my goal for this year with you guys whoever is watching this is to be more disciplined with uploading videos to show more of my life to show more of myself and to continue to be myself because sometimes when i'm doing videos you know if you work at a call center job and like if you answer in the phone sometimes you have this voice that's like not your normal voice but it's just like you're, you know, it's just automatically like, or if you answer the phone, hello, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not, you're not answering the phone like, hey girl, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to show more of my personality because there's so much more to me and it's just going to take time with just getting used to recording, honestly. So I just need to record more. <laughs> That's it. That's all. So thank you for watching this video, y'all. This video is going up today, okay? And I will see you guys Wednesday for sure. Cause I be saying that and I don't be there listen me and you i'm a, i'm a, we got an appointment wednesday wednesday what day is that january 26th i'm gonna be here okay can't get y'all time look let's just work out the let's just let's just do the first step a date january 26th i'm gonna meet y'all here so thank you for watching this video you guys and i'll see you all in the next one bye